Good morning, everybody. I am on my way home from South Georgia today, but I'm gonna be doing a little bit of herping along the way because it is fantastic weather. It's nice and overcast. We've had a lot of rain recently, so it should be pretty great weather to walk around. I'd really like to see a king snake today since we weren't able to find one earlier on the trip. And I know that they're in this area and very common. So we're gonna get to walking around and see what we can turn up. Check that thing out some kind of fungus. I don't know the name. I know I've been told the name before, but I cannot remember it now. It's just an alien looking thing though. Very cool. Well, it was pretty quick to find something today. That is our first Eastern box turtle of the year and it is mid-April. Uh, I have been very, very concerned about these turtles. Had you told me five years ago it would take until mid-April for me to find one of these, I never would have believed you. Uh, this is a place where they're very common. I've been here several times this year already, and this is the first one I have seen. I am very, very concerned about these guys, but let's get a closer look at him. April and May and June are really the best months for box turtles usually, so I'm sure we're going to see more over the next couple weeks. This guy is very shy, as it would turn out, but he is very nice looking. It's a healthy turtle, a very nice looking turtle. Um, but I don't think he's going to be very cooperative with showing us his beautiful face. Come around front a little bit and you can see it just a little better. Great color on this guy. Hopefully we will see multiple of these today. So I'm just gonna leave him to his business and we'll keep walking. First Eastern box turtle of the year. Well, we saw quite a few of these in the last episode, but there is a brown water snake. Actually not a very common snake here. I only see a couple each year at this spot. So very nice. Looks like a pretty healthy snake just chilling over the water. So we'll leave him right there forest is just so full of life right now. I've only seen the one brown water snake so far and of course the box turtle but it just feels amazing out here. We've definitely moved on to the next phase of springtime which is you know peak spring moving into early summer. Hopefully early summer stays away for as long as possible and we can enjoy the nice cool weather and hike around. Well there we go. I knew the snakes had to be out moving. Nice big rat snake. I'm gonna take a photo and we'll get a better look at him. It's a pretty good sized rat snake. Maybe a little bit bigger than the one we saw in the last episode with all the yellow rat snake influence. Good looking snake though. Very healthy, very handsome. That bug crawling on your head. Kind of looks like a tick. All right, we'll leave that guy to it. Next snake of the day, a nice big rat snake. What are you doing? He's gonna... Is that a hole he's gonna go in? Sure is. I wonder if he was following the scent trail of a rodent that maybe went down. Look at that, I didn't even see that hole. This five foot snake's about to jam himself all the way down it. How cool is that? So I'm walking on this dead tree, scanning down. Do you see it? I just spotted our next box turtle of the year. Right there, this one looks like a female. She's definitely not as shy as the first one. Look at her. Very nice. All right, we'll leave her to her business. Hopefully there will be more to come. Why is there just a toad? How's it going, dude? Just sitting out in the middle of the day. Well, I'm walking along and I look down and there's that guy. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful copperhead just chilling. I'm gonna take a quick photo and if he's still chilling there, we'll get a better look at him in a second. This is one of those places that just has a lot of venomous snakes. So normally I am not out here in sandals, but my boots are still soaked from the other night when I went into the water chasing after those sirens and Nerodia and stuff because I was dumb and didn't change into my sandals before I went night herping. This is just yet another great example of how peaceful a lot of venomous snakes are. You can see, I'm right here in front of this thing. I stepped right next to it, almost stepped on it, and he does not really even seem to care that I'm here. He's fully relying on his camouflage, hoping that I won't see him. Another thing to note is copperheads and other vipers like to ambush along dead logs like this. And I was actually intentionally walking the side of the log looking for a viper, particularly a rattlesnake, but I wasn't expecting a copperhead, but that's what we got, and I'm pretty happy with that. So if you're someone that's worried about stepping on venomous snakes in the woods, definitely be uh, be aware that they like to hang out in situations like this where you have a big fallen tree 
And to show you guys where I was walking, this is pretty much where I was stepping when I first spotted this guy. So, I mean, if he really wanted to bite me right now, he could make a good effort, but he doesn't because he's a copperhead and they are not naturally aggressive. They are just defensive. Now, if I were to try to step closer, he might bite me, but as of now, he doesn't really perceive me as a threat. And he knows his camouflage is really, really good. So there's copperhead log right here. We have our third boxy of the day. Look at that. It's a nice looking male. What a beautiful turtle. We'll just leave that guy right there. I got a couple pictures of him. Well, this is pretty cool. Not as cool as actually finding the snake, but there's a huge rattlesnake shed right here. Look at how big that thing is. Just the, uh, you can tell by the size of the ventral scales. So that's a big snake. It's probably a pretty old shed though, maybe from earlier this season. This piece right here is actually his head. That's not something you see very often at all. A lot of times the head gets torn up in the shedding process, but definitely a timber rattlesnake. You can see where the stripe starts behind the head. Very, very cool. But I'll poke around here a little bit. Maybe he's still close by. Yeah, looky there. Number four, another beautiful one. All right, dude, stay safe. I know, oh, there's a box turtle right there. I was just about to say, I know there's gotta be something right here, like a timber or a king snake, but there is actually a box turtle. Look at him. Yeah, it's number five. Good, good numbers of these guys today. Love to see it. But as I was saying, I, I really, I'm surprised we haven't seen more snakes today. Um, I'm not necessarily unhappy with how the days went. I just would have thought that we would find a king snake or a timber. It just feels so great out here. I'm probably gonna have to get out of here pretty soon to get lunch. So I'll walk around a little bit longer and hopefully we'll get lucky. So I just found a box turtle using my ears. I heard something crunching around up here. It sounded like a box turtle. Let's see if I can find him. I still, okay, I see him. I see him. All right, let's see if we can get to him. There. Well, that is number six. Hey, here's a little banded water snake just coiled up on the side of the trail. Doesn't seem too scared of me either. I'm just sitting here right next to him taking pictures and he hasn't even moved. Kind of surprised. This is our only Nerodia of the day so far, I believe. But nice looking snake. We'll just leave him to it. Might end up being our last snake of the day, but we'll see. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. And I am up bright and early to beat the heat to try to flip a little bit of tin. And then we're going to road cruise. So let's get to it. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! That thing is huge! Holy cow! <laughs> what a first snake of the day! Holy crap! That is an awesome way to start the day. <laughs> I cannot believe we couldn't hike one of these yesterday with how perfect the weather was. And then we come out here first thing this morning and flip one. What a beauty! And what a beast, too. That is a huge king. That is definitely one of the biggest North Georgia kings I've ever seen. That is incredible. And it's awesome looking. Look at that. Just fantastic looking snake. Well, I don't think a much better way to start the day exists. So I love getting a good find first thing in the morning. So you have the rest of the day to just relax and enjoy being in the field. This is almost certainly a big male. Female eastern king snakes in Georgia generally are not going to be getting this big. South Georgia, maybe, but not in North Georgia. You see, this snake has a fantastic looking belly, fantastic looking head, really nice black, super freshly shed. You can see how iridescent he is. It's just a fantastic snake. I definitely don't think we have spent nearly as much time targeting these guys at this point in the year as we normally have. And that's just because we've been busy with other things, trying out new stuff going to new places. But April and May are some of the best months to see them, so hopefully there will be many more kings coming over the course of the rest of the spring. Maybe even more in this episode. We got a little bit more to flip, so I'll put this big guy back under his tent and we'll keep at it. All right, big guy. There you go. Hopefully we'll see him again.
Well, I missed the flip clip on this guy, but nice black racer is our next find. Actually, a pretty big one. And uh, maybe even one of the only racers I've seen at this place. Weirdly enough, it seems like kings are actually more common here than racers, but this guy is super deep in the blue. You can see that eye is really cool looking, but we'll just put him back. I wonder, you know where you're at, right? No? There he goes. It's not very well weathered yet, but I haven't flipped this board since it was put out. It's pretty good, honestly, considering. Out of the road, my guy. Come on. Well, it sucks we had to pick that guy up so that uh, that truck didn't have any chance of right. Oh, he's coming back out. He's beautiful. Wow. Look at that. How's it going, dude? Glad you decided not to be shy because you are gorgeous. Look at that. All right, dude. Out of the road. Stay safe. Let's see if we can cruise more. I'm done flipping 10 for the day. We're about to go road cruise for the next couple hours, and hopefully that will not be the only thing we see. There's a man. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Just chilling. Kind of seems like he's hunting right now, even though it's the middle of the day. Really cool. This guy just does not care. <laughs> I'm sitting out my window right now looking at him taking pictures. He's just chilling. We've gotten so lucky with the barred owls over the last couple of months. All right, y'all. So it's been a while since we saw anything. I actually went home, edited a little bit, and I'm actually about to go out and look at some plants with my buddy Alan, and we just stumbled across a red-bellied snake crossing the trail. It's kind of frustrating because I've been cruising all day long and have not seen a single snake live or dead on the road. But then the second we start hiking this paved trail, there's a red-bellied snake. All right, out of the path with this little guy. Well, our first snake of the night came pretty fast and holy cow, it's a ribbon snake. Those are not common here at all. That is fantastic. Oh, he's getting a little testy with us. That's a great first local night cruise snake of the year. Actually, I think we had one of these really early a couple of years ago too. That's very nice. But uh, the sun's just now starting to go down and I think there's gonna be a pretty quick burst of activity tonight. So I'll get a quick photo of this guy and we'll let him go. Another snake right at dusk. It's a plain bellied water snake. What's up with the nature scenes moving right now? We're not really anywhere near water and we've gotten a ribbon and a plain bellied water. It's very neat. This guy is puffing out for us, so. Oh. It's out of the road, buddy. All right, next snake. Oh, is that a brown snake? Sure is. I was surprised that we didn't find one of those sooner tonight. Look, he's periscoping just like the ribbon did. Very cool. All right, we'll get him out of the road. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, it's a corn. I thought it was a mole king. That's still cool though, look at that. Very nice. We do not see too many local corn snakes. I mean, I say that all the time and then we see another one, but I really don't see too many of them. It's a pretty cool find. I'll get a quick photo of him and then we'll get him out of the road. He's got a kind of weird looking face. Like he's just got a weird look to him. Very nice. First big snake of the night. It's been little guys so far, but I'm gonna try to keep it moving. It's a pretty good way to highlight the night if we don't see a mole king, but I'm gonna hold out hope that we can get one. All right, dude, let's get you out of the road.
Love hearing the sound of whippoorwills in the spring. Keep moving. All right, y'all, well, I am on my way home. It was a pretty successful little cruise tonight. Uh, didn't stay out super late because activity just kind of dropped off. I did a couple more passes and didn't see anything else. I was hoping we'd be good until maybe 9.30, but it seems like stuff died off pretty quickly right around 9.00. But hey, it's been a pretty successful day, and yesterday was not too bad either with that copperhead and many, many box turtles. So it's been a good couple of days. Big stuff is coming up next. I think this is actually going to be the last Georgia episode for a while because Graham and I are about to take a two-week herping road trip. So by the time this goes up, we'll probably already be on that trip or already be back from it. But exciting stuff. So y'all have some cool stuff to look forward to. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.